using your utility in the right way can really help change the outcome of your CS2 match. My name is Adullah, you're watching Canada Technology and in this video we're talking about jump throw binds in Counter-Strike 2. Now, so once you're in game, uh, the thing about Counter-Strike 2 is, is that you don't really need a jump throw bind in my opinion. There is roughly a 200 millisecond gap or window that you get where you can very easily throw your uh, jump throws without causing much problems so if i take a smoke aim and jump you can see that it uh, really does let you throw a massive distance while using that bind now there are key binds that you can use for it and i will uh, leave a key bind on the screen for you that you can use and drop into your auto exec file but uh, in my experience, they cause issues with the rest of your controls. For example, I tried uh, the keybind that you see right now and uh, all of the jump buttons on my keyboard stopped working. That's because Valve keeps updating and changing the game. So some commands that used to work before uh, in CSGO or in older versions of CS2 uh, just don't work anymore. And that, as you can probably guess, is a bit of a problem. So uh, what I recommend you do is you jump into a practice match, uh, enable your grenade reticle and just try and get your throws lined up with this window. So as you can see here, I can smoke the top of mid right here. And uh, if I want to do a jump throw, this will of course, I will miss the shot. So that isn't going to work. But uh, you have around, like I said, a 200 millisecond window where you can just jump and then throw your uh, util. So if I were smoking again, uh, you can just hold down the left key, jump and at the peak of your jump, you can let go. Now, this uh, may take some practice, but what I can guarantee you is that this method will retain um, all of your muscle memory and you will not have to rely on binds as you would otherwise. So, for example, I want to smoke B short. What do I do? I aim a little bit to the left. I jump and at the top of my jump, I let go of the nade and I missed. So we'll try that again. So, yeah, this one's a little bit better. It lands straight on B short. So, like I said, there is a small window that you're going to have to get used to. Uh, when throwing nades uh, enabling the nade reticle here really helps because you can just aim properly and you don't have to be pinpoint perfect as long as you're letting go of the left click button anywhere near the peak of your jump you are good to go once again extremely simple all you have to do is let me demonstrate this with a, a wallet off this time so once you've enabled this reticle, you can really see your own lineups. Uh, so all you have to do, uh, even if you're running, this only uh, means that you will need to throw uh, a certain number of keys because even with uh, key binds, you have to press three, four down, uh, three, four keys at the same time, which can get a little uh, frustrating. So uh, the best way of countering that is just learning the binds this way once again i will provide the binds to you in the description below so if you want you can go ahead and use them i uh, just do not recommend doing so so once again aim make sure that your bind is lined up properly i want to go a little bit to the left so that i uh, smoke be short jump at the peak of your jump release the key and your nade flies all the way over there beautifully and blocks off any line of sight and that's it that's how you can create jump throw binds in cs2 if you have any questions on uh, how you can install these binds and uh, whether or not you've been using a bind which doesn't seem to be working for you do leave us a comment below and we will try our best to get back to you if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology Follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.